Hey there, it's Erica from Ever Educating, and today I want to talk about five books that I plan on reading or rereading in the new year related to teaching. And so I have a few that are specific to teaching what my specialization is, which is children's and young adult literature, but also just teaching more generally as well. So I'll get to those near the end, but it's going to be a quick video anyway. So to start, we have this one, all right? So Teaching Children's Literature, Issues, Pedagogy, and Resources. And so this is an older book. It was published in 1992, but I have used it for my dissertation so far, but I haven't read the whole thing. And so it's broken up into different sections. So part one is Critical Issues and Approaches, and part two is Course Descriptions. Uh, part three is just about specific programs. But I'm interested in, in reading definitely part one, the different approaches and canonical issues and uh, generic issues that are occurring in the field or were occurring at that time. I'm curious to see if they've, you know, are they still an issue? Um, but also I'm interested in reading the course descriptions and getting ideas of how I can, you know, tinker with my own course designs for courses I've already taught or that I hope to teach in the near future. So obviously this one is specifically for teachers of children's and adult literature, uh, but it is on my list of books to read. All right, since that first book was published in the early 90s, I plan on matching it up with this more recent one. So children's and young adult books in the college classroom, essays on instructional methods. And so it was published in 2015, so much more recently. And it has three sections about inside the classroom, beyond the classroom, and student perspectives. And so I'm kind of interested in seeing how much has changed in approaches to writing about teaching children's and adult literature for you know, college students between those two years. Um, so I do recommend going on Google or Amazon or somewhere and searching for yourself you know, what books in your area are there specifically about teaching rather than just books generally about teaching, which I'll get to in a second. So there's plenty for my particular field, which is unsurprising considering, you know, K through 12 teachers teach children's literature as well. Uh, but you know, you don't know what you'll find until you do some searching. All right, so alongside the ones that are particularly about my area, I also wanna branch out into more general uh, teaching related books. And one area that I haven't done so far is teaching a fully online course. So I love learning my learning management system in my courses. I always post my homework on there. Students turn in assignments through it. I post supplementary readings on there. So I make a lot of use of it, but I've never taught a fully online course. And it is something that I'm interested in doing. So before I get to that point, I want to make sure I have a sense of how to design an online course to be you know, great for my students and for me as well. And so I have here digitally, Right, Conquering the Content, a Blueprint for Online Course Design and Development, the second edition, and this was published in 2014. And so I'm actually using my uh, Access 360 app, which is a free library app that I highly recommend if your library is connected to the system. I'll have a link below so you can check it out. Uh, but for this one, it basically goes into, you know, how do you really map out your course and then design the content and improve it? And so it seems to be you know, a pretty standard, basic approach to teaching online courses. It's not specific to the humanities or to STEM or anything like that. And so I'm curious to see what I can learn about you know, course design specifically for online courses before I have an opportunity to teach one that's solely online. Now this next book was published in 2010 and I've actually read parts of it before already during my PhD program, but it's Bell Hooks, Teaching Critical Thinking, uh, Practical Wisdom, and I loved it when I was reading it as part of my class. They're very short uh, vignettes rather than long chapters, so you can definitely mix and match them as you read. Uh, but I do want to read the whole thing front to back to just get a sense of all of her amazing advice to share. And so this one, of course, you know, she has other books, but this is the one I already had in my library. So I definitely thought, you know, it's, now it's time, you know, since I have some extra time because I'm not teaching next semester to do some more reading uh, related to this particular book. So I do want to finish it up. And like, again, there's a lot of different sections. So for example, writing books for children, the joy of reading, self-esteem, teachers against teachers, feminist revolution, you know, telling the story. So there's a lot of them here that I really think would be worth reading um, if you're a new teacher or even if you've been teaching for a while. And then my final one that I'm planning on reading in 2020 is this one. So New Faculty, A Practical Guide for Academic Beginners. And this one actually is pretty old as well. So I think it's a 2002, 
let's see, publication date. Let me double check that. Yeah, so by Palgrave. So obviously it's been a while, but there's still elements of it that interest me because it has in the, the part two about advising students, there's a whole chapter, getting published, and the art of uh, grantsmanship and faculty service. So there's a lot of elements there, like the last section in that part is legal issues and the professorate. And so I'm really curious to see what it has to say. Uh, I'm applying to assistant professor jobs and lecture positions, and so if I do stick to academia, I definitely want to get some advice of you know how to really um, navigate the waters once I leave the grad student role and end up at the professor role. And so that's the last one that I plan on reading at least in 2020. I'm sure I'll read others, but those are the five that I have planned out for the new year. And so I'll have links below to each of these books in case you want to check out the reviews for them or get some more information about what's in the table of content and you know what the blurb is, etc. Um, but I'm curious to know if you have any other suggestions for me about books about teaching. So I don't teach K through 12, uh, but I am interested in any books you have about higher ed teaching in particular. And so I'd love for you to share with me some suggestions so I can check them out. Or just tell me what your favorite, you know, teaching related book has been that you've read so far. I'll see you next week with a new video. Um, so if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. And you can also hit the notification bell if you want to be notified via email when the new video goes up. And if you found any of these book suggestions to be ones you're going to try out yourself, I would appreciate you clicking the like button below as well and letting me know.